Tell us who you are, Rick. I'm Rick DeSantiago. I'm a PhD student at San Diego State University and at the University of California, Davis. So I'm interested in a lot of different things, but one of those things is the connection between ecosystems and how seaweed that washes ashore impacts terrestrial communities, including crabs, tiny snails, and giant snails. So Sargassum horneri is a native alga from Japan. It started showing up in 2003 here in California and has slowly been spreading up and down the coast. Uh, a lot of work is trying to figure out what it's doing here and how it affects the ecosystem. Some of the research we've seen so far shows that when this invasive seaweed breaks off of the, uh, the seafloor and it washes to the shore where black abalone still live, I'm interested in how it affects them and, and their system. <laughs> so I'm looking at a giant sea snail called the black abalone that used to be very abundant throughout California but it's now pretty rare. And when I say giant, I don't mean the size of your car and they're not coming after you when you go to the beach. They're uh, about 10 inches or, you know, the size of my face. And they are found hanging out near rocks. They're found uh, along the coast. And sometimes uh, if you get lucky, you might see one. You don't have to worry about bringing your kids to see them because it's very rare that you actually get to see a abalone in the wild. Uh, even more rare, a black abalone. Black abalone were extremely abundant, ecologically relevant uh, species of, of giant snails that lived throughout the coast of mo most of Southern California down to Baja until about the 60s when um, the withering foot syndrome, a disease that affects the, uh, the, the actual foot of the animal, um, started killing them off. That and overfishing, over harvesting by people, uh, we saw declines to basically uh, almost extinct. All abalone are currently uh, listed to not be um, harvested, not be taken home. Black abalone are the only species of abalone that are strictly intertidal. They actually prefer the rocky shores uh, where people walk around and, and can see them. Uh, so if you do see a, an abalone, any species, you should leave it where, where it is. So what's your favorite thing about abalone, Rick? That's hard to choose just one thing I like about abalone, but uh, because of the work we've been doing in the last couple of days, one of my favorite things now is the way they reproduce. They just spawn uh, into the water column in the wild, and I thought that was really cool. They definitely are cute, and one thing that people don't notice about abalone until you look at one up close is they actually have a cute little face. They, you can clearly see their eyes, and uh, they're almost curious. They're looking around when you hold one.